Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lefon Tui and in this video, I'll be showing you how to pad an off-shoulder bust tear. Now, this video is a part 2 to, the, to a video that I dropped earlier on this week on how to cut the off-shoulder bust tear. For padding the off-shoulder bust tear, we're only going to use S-Day and soft gum stay, unlike the princess that's where we used wording. Now, this pad is going to be a bit softer than the padding that we had in the um, Princess Lads. If you have not seen the video, I would um, drop links to the video in the description below. So, now the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to iron soft gum stay onto our lining. Now, as you can see, this is the center front of my bustier. In case you don't know how to um, draft this, please. Don't forget to check my previous video. That's a video on how to draft these patterns. So as you can see, I'm simply ironing my simply ironing my soft gum stay to my lining, and then now I'm going to cut it out. Now I'm simply going to just secure the gum stay to my lining. Make sure that the heat has been well applied. Now I'm done with ironing the gum stay for the center for the center front. Now the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to repeat the exact same process for the lining of the side of my front. I'm going to do the same thing for the back of my of my pattern. Please watch my previous videos to know how to draft all these patterns. So as you can see now I'm ironing my gum stay onto the side of my front, onto the lining of the side of my front. I'm going to do the same thing for both sides of the lining side of my front and when I'm done with that I'm simply going to cut out so as you can see I have also done the same thing for the lining of my of my pattern but the back of my pattern sorry I've done the same thing for the lining of the back of my pattern so I'm simply going to secure down my gum stay please do not forget to do this to the back of your pattern it gives it a better finish and in case you are wondering I'm using cotton lining so I'm done with all my lining I'm done with ironing my the soft gum stay onto the body of my lining so for the as for the fabric itself I'm going to use fusible interfacing if you are not in nigeria you're going to need to look for fusible interfacing but if you need, if you're in nigeria this is called sa so i'm going to use sa for the center of my front as you can see i'm simply ironing on the sa to the center of my front please when i say sa i'm talking about fusible interfacing it always comes with um, two sides, a side that is non-fusible and the other side that has, an, a, um, that has a heat activated adhesive. So please make sure that the one that you get has a, rough, a side that is rough to the touch. So when I'm done, I'm simply going to just secure everything down. So, like I said, I'm going to do the exact same thing, repeat the exact same process just like I had done on my lining on my actual fabric. And in case you are wanting the fabric I'm using, this is Bridal Satin. So, because just after I'm done ironing out the pattern, I'm going to just cut it out, as you can see. Going to do the same thing to the side. Now, 
now I'm done ironing my ST onto my sateen. I've done it on both sides of the front, the center of the front and on the back. Now when we were making our um, princess, when we were padding our princess that um, we used wadding. Now for this one we're only going to use ST, we're not going to use wadding. So from from the half cut, I'm going to iron SA up six times because I want this to have to have um, to be softer than the than the previous pattern than the previous padding that we did on Princess that. Now this is going to be soft. The Princess that is going to be medium thickness. The Princess that the padding done on the Princess that if you pad your your bustier like that, you might not have to wear a bra. But this you would have to. Now, for the beginners that are confused because of the center front doesn't have that curve. So, to help you guys out, since I'm going to join my pattern from the bottom, I'm going to mark where the curve stops on the side of my front on both sides and I'm going to draw a line from top to bottom. From this line, I'm going to iron my SD up. Now, for the side, I'm going to place the center side just like so and I'm going to cut out a pattern that I'll use as a template for cutting the SD for my side. I'm going to use this pattern as a template and I'm going to cut it 12 times. I'm cutting it 12 times because I'm cutting 6 pieces for both sides of my side, the side of my front. So now I'm done cutting the six parts. I'm going to place my ST just like just as I have said six times all the way up. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to place it on six times. Then Now when I'm done with that, I'm going to simply iron, I'm going to use water and then I'm going to iron the SD onto the fabric. Please make sure that all sides of the SD are facing the fabric. Don't have some part of your SD facing up, some facing down. All sides of the SD that has the glue should face the wrong side of your pattern please do not make this mistake or else you have to go to the market to buy more estate and god be with you if 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 the advance that they had given to you had had has been exhausted and you are just being careless you say i do not tell you okay now when we're done with that we're going to cut it out i'm going to repeat this ex this exact same process for for the other side again now for the center of the front from that point where we had marked from that blue part up six more times so I'm folding my fabric to cut the SD to cut the SD that will be enough for for the side of my for the center of my front sorry smoothing out the straightening out the line of the for the ST because the bottom part of my ST was too rough. Now I'm going to cut out the templates. So now we apply the sixth one. It 
so six times you apply the estate six times and i'm going to iron the front side of my satin to straighten out all my all the air the squeezing and everything to make it flat then i'm going to cut the excess cut the excess estate off when you are done with that when we're done with ironing the estate it's time to join all the sides together I'm also going to join all the sides of my lining so let's go to the machine it's time to sew now the first thing I would do is I would join my patterns together starting from the bottom I'll join it from the bottom to the top Now, just like I have warned you guys in my previous video, if you are a beginner, be careful when your hand is going close to the needle like that. If the needle passes through your finger, you are going to dance for your uncle. You are totally on your own. I've told you. Be careful. Don't follow me because you have you have you have seen me flexing. You say no, you want to so so like that. The needle is going to eat up, it's going to chop your finger clean off. I'm playing, I'm playing, but sure, just be careful. So when I'm done with the other side, I'm going to do the same thing for the, the second side of my front. I'm going to join it to the center front. Now, I always like going from bottom to the top. I feel that that's the correct way, but if you can do it from top, bottom, and you can be careful, that's, that's good. Now the next thing I'm going to do, so I'm going to come to that angle where the curve for the bust starts from and I'm going to make a notch, where that curve is, I'm going to make a notch, that point, then now I'm going to push all the bulk, all the excess at the bottom towards the side of my front and I'm going to stitch on top of it to keep all the excess facing towards the side of my front so I'm simply stitching from top to bottom repeating the exact same process for the second side so as you can see this is what the lining of your off shoulder bossier should look like by the time you are done it's now time to join the fabric we're going to join the fabric the exact same way Please, if you're enjoying the video, if you have watched um, watch the video to this point, I really appreciate you for for tuning in and for staying staying so far into the video. Thank you so much. If you've enjoyed the video, if you've stayed this long, that means you're you're enjoying the content. Please do not forget to subscribe and like. I drop new videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays, usually around 12, 12 a.m. midnight. But if I drop it like in the afternoon, still on Saturday, Saturday, still Saturday, don't judge me. So you're simply going to sew from the bottom to the top. Please don't forget to lock your seams. Now, just like we did on the lining, I'm going to come to that curve. 
to where the underbrush round curve stopped and I'm going to make a notch. Please if you have any confusion to how we cut these patterns, please watch my previous video. There will be links to the video in the description below, the very first video in the description below. Um, my other videos, there will be links to some of my other videos that you should check out, especially the video on how to pad princess that. Um, the way I padded that, I padded it a bit um, heavier than this, that's like a medium thickness. But in a video later on, I will drop the thickest um, padding that I do whenever I cut my wants it to be very, very thick. I mean, can, you think it's almost bulletproof. I used to call it the breastplate of righteousness. <laughs> that's how thick it would be. But for this one, it would just uh, some light padding. Most people would still want to wear a bra with it. But as for the medium um, padding that I did on the princess, that yeah most people can comfortably wear that without a bra and the toughest padding nobody wants to wear a bra with that but for this this is just lightweight padding and if you want in case you are wondering yes you can you can pad you can use the method that i use in my princess that here and it will still work so please we'll put a breast bow on the please make sure you 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 spread it you stretch it <laughs> Make sure you spread your seam before you sew. Make sure you you, you stretch it out to make sure that everything lays flat. <laughs> make sure you stretch it out. So you're going to cut SA approximately 3 inches wide and you're going to cut it to be longer than the length of the bustier. I'm actually going to spread a seam and we're going to iron. And please when you see the amount of um, strength I'm putting when I'm stretching out the seams Please, I'm not exaggerating, you need to actually um, stretch it out, if not, it's not going to lay flat in front. So we're basically done. So I'll repeat the exact same thing for the other side of your of your bust here. I'll do the same thing to this side. So this is what it looks like at the end of the day. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. New content is coming in every Wednesday and every Saturday. Have a blessed day, enjoy yourself, live your life, I'll see you guys soon, bye.